you're watching the Venom vlog. Hey, when are you gonna make a Spidey vlog? Where's the... Whoa. <sighs> Subtle Venom. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and I'm sorry it took a couple days to get some more episodes up, uh, but you know, now we're launching our countdown to Maximum Venom, the new cartoon, the Spider-Man cartoon that uh, premieres on Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, just uh, like five days from now, at 9 p.m. on Disney XD, so make sure that you're staying tuned for that. You know, those of you out there who want Venom stuff, I'm really curious to see. You know, I've been watching the previous season, and we have more cartoon episodes coming up this week. We're going to talk about Spectacular Spider-Man, um, Ultimate Spider-Man, and then this current Spider-Man cartoon, and we're, those are going to be three episodes that are going to you know premiere between now and Sunday to kind of build you guys up and talk about different versions of Venom in different cartoons and different animation and different styles and then kind of like segue into you know the first episode of this so probably episode 501 of the Venom vlog because episode 500 I've been editing that's kind of my traveling across the country episode and my goodbye party at Golden Apple um, all that is going to be in my 500th episode uh, so 501 will be our review of the first episode of Maximum Venom so that'll be coming up and that's what we have here today is the trailer um, it's like a 30 second spot that was on TV someone uploaded it online and the Venom site was really cool enough to like reshare it and I went to that person's YouTube page and I you know I liked it I left a comment said how nice it was for them to post it uh, but then also now we have the official version so I did kind of watch that like version of someone filming it on their couch uh, I did watch that one because it was still pretty good quality for, for what they were doing um, but I'm excited to just rewatch it here and talk about it a little bit but before we get into that, I want to open a package I got in the mail. So we've been talking about this empty picture frame uh, in the last couple episodes. And that, so that poster over there, that print, is from uh, our friends at Gray Matter Art. And if you want to check them out, go to graymatterart.com so you can get other cool art pieces on your wall like I have on mine. And uh, one of those things was, uh, you know, on sale recently, a Gabrielle Del Auto print. And I'm hoping it's the same size as that one because that's the same picture frame and I wanted them side by side. So I'm hoping it's like the same size, like 16 by 20. Uh, but we're going to find out. So they were nice enough. Uh, I went online. I bought something from them. They shipped this. They gave this to us as a gift last time, which was really nice of them. But I really wanted to contribute to them. And I hope you guys, too, if you're out there and you collect awesome art prints, even even if you're not a Venom fan, you can see a lot of other Marvel characters that they do over there, DC characters, uh, but they do a lot of Marvel stuff and they have really great uh, artwork over there from amazing artists. And uh, and so I wanted to contribute to them. So when I got some of that extra money I had recently, I was like, I got to buy a print. So And then just in time, because Gabriel D'Auto, they released like a, a, a print from him that was from the Marvel 1000, you know, like, um, you know, a cover. Uh, that was like that $10 Marvel book that came out a while ago. And look how, I love how well they, you know, package these. They have the roll inside the big roll. They have uh, packing paper. Uh, they put in some cool like Gray Matter Art stickers. And again, you can go to graymatterart.com if you want to pick up posters like the ones I'm about to show you or the one you see in the background back there. Uh, I love their stuff. I mean, they're so awesome. The guys that work over there are so nice. They answer questions really quickly. And uh, uh, what? Uh, they. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to buy a third frame. Uh, so first we have the Gabrielle Del Auto print. How amazing is that? That's going to look so great on the back wall. Uh, but now I, gotta re I might have to reconfigure the wall a little bit because uh, I don't know why they did this, but those guys are so amazing. Um, they put in the, the Lee in Hook uh, poster as well. They gave me two. I don't know if that was an accident or not or what. But it's super nice. Uh, guys at Grey Matter, thank you. That's so nice of you. There's even, look in the glass, there's Scarlet Spider fighting Venom up there. I never noticed that before. Um, there's Spider-Man kicking Venom there. Uh, different version of Spider-Man punching him there. Uh, oh, another Scarlet Spider down in the corner. Like, wow. Okay, so yeah, I got two prints. <laughs> that's... That's so amazing. And sometimes what these guys will do, if you if you order from them, uh, it's random, but they'll throw in like an uh, like an original sketch or an extra drawing sometimes uh, by some of the artists to help promote the prints. 
These guys are amazing. Please go check out graymatterart.com. And like I said, if you want cool art on your wall like this and like the, the Lee and Hugh uh, poster, you know, go buy them there. You know, I mean, they, seriously, they do really great stuff. I, the, the art that's back there, I mean, every, all, all of the artists that work for them are just top notch. They're amazing people, amazing talent. And everyone who works over there is super nice. Nice enough to send me two posters. So I'll try to figure something out. I'll, I'll have to hang out one somewhere. I don't know if I could fit it on that back wall because I'll have to undo nails and rearrange everything. So maybe it'll go on this new wall behind me here or uh, behind the camera. And, uh, and we'll get to that at some point down the road. So Gray Matter Art, thank you so much. And everyone out there, please go check these guys out and definitely support them. All right, now with that out of the way, let's dive into this quick 30 second spot. Uh, again, I'll put a link down below to Disney Upload. This is where you can find the original if you wanna watch it there. And, uh, and definitely let them know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments. We'll continue our conversation down there. But this is us just building up, you know, getting ready to see a, a Venom focused season, final season of this Spider-Man cartoon. So I'm very excited. So let's check this out. Hey there, remember me? <laughs> That's a pretty neat costume design. I don't mind it too much. Whoa, there's Venom. And Sandman. No, oh, sweet. Take it to the max. Notice anything different? All new Marvel Spider-Man Maximum Venom. All right. Oh, sweet. The earth-shattering one-hour event starts Sunday, April 19th at 9. <laughs> huh. So what? Whoa, that was cool at the end there. One thing I noticed was um, watching it again now on a bigger screen too, not on my phone, is that uh, the style doesn't look that much different. I remember seeing in an interview where they they really liked uh, the artist that we were, we were sharing all of his artwork recently. Um, you know, they were saying like, oh, we really like his art style, uh, but, we, you know, we want to kind of change the style of the cartoon a little bit more to his kind of, you know, concepts. But I think what they really did was just did that and look like as far as like... Um, design structure but not so much like changing the animation i'm going to guess that it probably would be too expensive to change the whole style of animation from one season to another which i thought originally when i read that comment um so yeah the animation style doesn't look that different and i know that's a lot of people's criticism of the show uh but uh the, i've seen now i'm almost done with season two I'm not, I don't hate this show. I don't know why everybody's so down on it. And I know some people are like, oh, you're just kissing people's butts. You're, and it's like, no, you, you know me, I'm always honest. Um, I gave the Venom movie a seven out of 10. You know, I could have easily, you know, gave it a 10 out of 10 if I was that easy, you know, to convince on stuff. But uh, but no, I mean, this looks fine. It's, it's for a different audience. It's for a younger audience. And I think that's what some people forget sometimes. Uh, but I still feel like there's some stuff in each episode that I've at least personally enjoyed. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, we'll talk about seasons one and two. We'll have those episodes coming up before this new season launches. And so you'll hear my thoughts on that. But, uh, but let me know what you think of this teaser. I mean, Venom looks great. Um, I like the, you know, the white suit. I'm pretty sure that's not the original Venom suit. So I saw some people going like, well, why is Peter Parker in a white costume? Well, and we talked about this previously with some of the toys and stuff. He doesn't, uh, I, th I, I believe that that is a different symbiote or a different strand of the symbiote or something. So he looks different. And I think that's what it is uh, because Venom, Eddie Brock has the symbiote. But then also in that one moment, you saw another symbiote separated, you know, no host. And it was like a little, you know, cr mo moloid creature type thing. And it shot like a red beam in the air. And I'm kind of wondering if that was a, a beam blast that actually hurts, you know, um, or if that's something like uh you know, like a, a call, because remember in, uh, what was it, separate, not separation anxiety, uh, uh, Planet of the Symbiotes, and Planet of the Symbiotes, the symbiote uh, separated from Eddie, and then it went out, and it did this, like, big screeching call, and that brought other symbiotes to it, you know, brought other symbiotes' uh, attention to it, and it's, it, that call was echoed throughout, somehow, throughout the universe, um, so I'm wondering if that was that what was that was supposed to represent? Um, and I saw other people saying that they think Venom is going to fight Sandman because there was that scene where Venom goes through the the smoke or the the uh, smoke cloud or something, uh, which could have been sand or sa you know sand cloud or something. Uh, that would be cool because obviously they were in Spider-Man three the movie together, so that'd be cool to see them kind of duke it out in this cartoon. But I imagine, you know, and from what I understand, we're going to get a lot of Eddie Brock and Venom in this, and I think that's what a lot of Venom fans at least have been wanting from from season one when they saw that it was like oh. Some, and even before this Ultimate Spider-Man, people were like, oh, Norman or Harry Osborn is Venom? Oh, where is Eddie Brock? And, you know, oh, okay, then it went to Flash Thompson and then when it, when it found its way around, this show did the same thing. Instead of just doing the same thing over and over, 
it was like, hey, let's do a different approach to it. Uh, let's have it bond on Spider-Man first, which obviously that does happen in the comics. But then before it goes to Eddie Brock, let's have it go to other places and do other things. And they had a carnage that bonded with Thanos at one point uh, and had Spider-Man and the Guardians of the Galaxy team up to fight him. And Spider-Man, you know, wore the Venom costume again to fight. And I don't know, it, the show has some interesting concepts and ideas and I dig it. And I and I know, now have gotten to know some of the writers, uh, Kevin and Doc uh, in particular, and maybe it gives me a little bit of a bias and that's fine if, if you know if that's what it is because they're nice guys and I know they write transformer cartoons and they write a lot of other things that I'm like deeply in love with and I think the guys have talent and I like their ideas and and they seem like really genuinely awesome people and big fans and they do want to do different things and try new stuff and I can't imagine how hard that is to do when you're trying to translate a character like Spider-Man and Venom like characters like that uh, to do something new and so that for that reason I'm, I'm kind of intrigued and I'm hooked on and I want to see more of where Maximum Venom goes and I've seen a lot of positivity in the comments too and I've seen some criticism and I welcome that so if you have some let me know down below you know and then also if you're digging what's going on here and if you have some ideas that you want to share based off what you saw here let me know what you think as well um, you know would you like to see Venom fight other uh, Spider-Man villains I certainly would I would love to see that i'd love to see venom fight wolverine um, but i don't know if we're going to get that on this i think only the avengers and guardians of the galaxy kind of exist in this universe i don't know if the x-men do or, or not i can't remember um because i've been watching all the cartoons back to back and it's like it's hard to remember i'm like well the 90s one had x-men in it but these other ones some of these other ones didn't and i was like going back and forth so uh yeah let me know though um i've rambled long enough and uh, i want to give another shout out again to gray matter artwork thank you so much uh you know for sending the posters they're amazing and i i gotta go get you know get another frame and uh, so i can frame the other one but i guess I'll start my new second wall. I have a wall behind us here that's empty that I'm going to decorate with, um, you know, stuff that comes out for Venom 2. Because uh, I imagine we're going to get movie posters like, you know, that one I have of Tom Hardy. I want to get another, um, a Venom 2 movie poster with Woody Harrelson on it and any other characters that they make. So I'll probably decorate this wall with that and I'll include this second poster um, on there as well. Uh, so yeah, so thank you guys very much. Uh, everyone who's watching, everyone who supports, I appreciate you very much. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.